are celebrating all the work that our Filipino nurses do. And because of this, we have a panel of nurses here on our show. At pinag-uusapan natin the issues that pertain and are important to our Filipino American nurses. So, my next question to the panel is, the process of becoming a nurse is not an easy one. Let's um, walk our audience through how does one become a registered nurse? Charmaine? So for, for me, nursing was my second career. I, I decided that um, I had enough of sales and I wanted to do something that would be more of a passion and fulfilling for me. Um, I happened to be um, in the hospital a lot taking care of my grandparents. They were in and out. And when I saw the doctors and the nurses, like a light like went on and like that's what I want to do. So. Um, I decided to put myself in, in school, so I enrolled in school um, right away to start the prerequisites. I went to a community college, um, and the prerequisites just to get me there took two years. And then you go on a waiting list to get into a nursing program. And for me, um, with my associate's degree, it was a two-year program. So overall, it was about four years, three months to do it. Lots of sacrifice, sleepless nights, um, giving up your personal life. But the nice part about it is that because your family or friends, loved ones around you, know what you're trying to do. And um, Everyone admires, everyone admires a nurse, uh, what absolutely. they do. So you have all the support there mm. to do it. It's a lot of sacrifice, lots of hard work, um, studying, but um, the knowledge that comes out of it and the fulfillment of taking care of, of others, um, even though you're giving yourself, you're getting something in, in return. Okay. But lots of hard work. <laughs> yes, a lot of hard work. But let's face it, not everybody can be a nurse. Right? <laughs> Marietta, what do you need? What are the, not just, you know, requirements academically, but what is the main ingredient? You have to love it. You have to want to be with your patients. And that, I think that's where I excel the most. Uh, when we decided that I was going to be a nurse, I decided to get a job as a CNA or a nursing assistant. So uh, through the four-year program, uh, nursing program that I attended, I was a nursing assistant. And they loved me, the hospital, the patients. And it was so hard to leave that position once I graduated. Mm. So it's like suddenly, okay, now you're in charge, you know, so you're not just following orders anymore from the nurse. You're going to be the one that's, you know, uh, giving directions to the nursing assistants. That was kind of hard but you know you 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 learn the transition i mean you 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 integrate you know so okay yeah but you have to love to you have your, to have the heart for yes, it you do yes That's yes mm -hmm. yeah because yes. if you don't no matter how much they pay you no matter how glossy the building is or whatever <laughs> you, yeah Pretty soon you're gonna leave it because it, it takes a certain character to, to be a nurse. Okay, yeah. well, like you mentioned, you have to study hard, you have to have a very good support system, mm -hmm. you have to have the heart for it. Mm -hmm. But really, if you want to be a nurse, mm -hmm. isn't it a calling? Shalom, is it a calling? <coughs> or uh, or dalalang ng pangangailangan? Uh, it's both a calling and the need, you know, for a country like the Philippines, which is uh, has a lot of. Uh, jobless uh, people. Uh, although in my part, I took a different route. Uh, like Charmaine, I, nursing is the second course for me. Oh, so I'm, later on in life you pursued Yes, it. I'm a doctor back in the Philippines. Wait, 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 stop. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Doctor, Doctor Shalom! Yes, I, I've been a doctor for over 20 years back in the Philippines and my special circumstances are we have a special child uh, she's unable to speak, and we don't have that kind of services back home in the city where I live. Of course. So, Sa ano pong city ito? Davao City. Sa Davao, okay. So we took, took us a lot of pandering with my family and finally decided in 2005 to try our chances here. So I took up nursing as a fallback position because I know I couldn't practice doc, um, medicine here. So I took up nursing. So when I finished nursing, I took the boards and passed the 
pass the exam in Well, if you didn't pass, I would be scratching my head, <laughs> diba? This Luckily, is, I passed. <laughs> uh, Dr. Shalom, or Shalom, uh, this must be a really big piece of humble pie. Yes, uh, at the same time, uh, not just a piece of humble pie, but, you know, I have to go through some uh, transformation too, you know, because mm -hmm. when you're a doctor in the Philippines, you people look up at you. You're, you're some, someone else. You're something else. Mm -hmm. You give orders here and there, you know. Mm -hmm. Iba. It's different, but here... Uh, Ikaw yung inuutusan. Exactly. I have to put on the IV. I had to wipe the butts of our patients. You That's know. true. Yes. Uh, something we don't do as a doctor back in the Philippines. That's right. Okay. I, I'm so, glad we're talking about this. This is very important. People from the Philippines that are doctors come to America and become nurses. Mm -hmm. Why? This is an issue we need to address. We'll be right back and we'll talk about that here on Kababayan Today.